Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the Black Noddy, dark, uniquely coloured and tame seabirds that stand out in their flight. I hope you enjoy. Black Noddies are one of three dark Noddy species, the other two being the brown and lesser Noddies. They are medium sized at 35 to 40 centimetres in length, and being 98 to 144 grams in weight with a contrasting white head cap that grades into grey on the neck, and also possess a long and slender black bill. They most closely resemble the lesser noddy, so much so that they were once considered conspecific, although it was noticed that the black noddies have slightly darker plumage and dark rather than pale laws. The region between the eyes and nostrils, birds, reptiles and amphibians. They are widely distributed in tropical and subtropical seas, with about 2,200 pairs breeding in New Zealand around the Kermadec Islands. Graceful and buoyant in flight, they feed during the day in small to large flocks, flying low over the water and then seizing prey while being airborne, and are dependent on predatory fish such as tuna to drive prey species to the surface, as they cannot die for their food themselves. The prey they mainly target includes a variety of small fish and squids, but they will also pirate food from other seabirds, and have been recorded eating caterpillars and juvenile sea snakes. Their name of Noddy is derived from their animated courting displays in which both birds repeatedly nod at each other, and are also very tolerant of humans, even to the extent where they can be picked up off their nest, either maliciously to kill them or to check on any potential chicks and eggs. They are colonial breeders, with breeding sites varying between years at the Kermadec Islands, nesting on sea cliffs, in caves, trees and on shrubby vegetation. Their single, streaked egg is laid from August to January, with the nest often being a substantial scruffy looking platform with a shallow depression in the centre, which is composed of sticks, leaves and seaweed. There is often a high rate of nest failure either through predation or severe weather, although pairs are able to produce a second egg if they lose the first. As an island-breeding, unwary bird, introduced predators like rats and cats have managed to extirpate them on Rao Island, which were in turn eradicated by the Department of Conservation in 2002, and have since made a slow recovery, mainly breeding around the inlet surrounding the island. The global population appears to be stable with an expanding breeding range and populations on islands on the Great Barrier Reef being noted. They do however face decline from other human populations, as they are harvested for food in Micronesia and Tukalau, and vegetation clearance has destroyed nesting habitats, as well as much enforcement that sets out to prohibit hunting or egg collection, being either challenging or inadequate. Nevertheless, populations in New Zealand and overseas have remained secure, but it is still key to keep an eye out to make sure that remains the case. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week. For next time, you are now able to vote for the Royal Spoonbill, the only representative of its kind in the country, and a group with fabulous head plumage. With that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.